Meanwhile, the hot summer may have burned your grass, but you can get it growing again. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli in Mobile 2 are live in Park Ridge with tips on how to do just that, and Vince is rolling around in the grass. <laughs> Okay, let me just say, we're pretty brave out here because I think we've been visited by a family of skunks, but we're not going to let that deter us this morning. We're concentrating right now on if you have those small burn spots in your lawn and you just need to fertilize, not replant or anything. And uh, Mark Lurvie's here. He's telling us what we need to do. Treat the lawn with nitrogen, right? You need to put on two applications of fertilizer yet this fall. You should have put one on at Labor Day so and we're one at Halloween. Labor Day, yes. but remember Halloween's coming up. And still put that one on. Alright, so we've got some nitrogen. And what is it that nitrogen, how much nitrogen should we put in? This bag of fertilizer is 31% nitrogen. Mm -hmm. So you need three to four pounds of this per thousand square feet to get one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. What that's does, the right amount to put on each application. What does nitrogen do for the lawn? Nitrogen is the main nutrient that bluegrass needs mm -hmm. and it reinvigorates the root system and, and grows that lawn. Okay, and so that's going to get those tiny burn spots back for us. Well, the good thing about bluegrass is it's rhizominous and it'll fill in from the roots and fill in the dead spots. Okay, so that's so, why you need to feed it. And this is the part I always like. This is the easy part, just pushing it. We're going to push this on all over the lawn here, try to avoid the skunks, and then tell you what to do about those bigger, stressed out, burned areas of your lawn. So. Uh, Stick around, and I'll do my best to get these acres looking greener. <laughs> get to work. Right, Mark? Yeah. Time now is 5.